Now, God will cause you to leap over some stuff. In other words, He will cause you, amen, amen, that you, you, you won't go through certain things that others go through. Because some people go through certain things to get this and get that. But sometimes God would say, in order for God to even favor you like that and cause you to leap over some stuff, you must make a please him in some kind of way. Because there's favor when God has you to leap over. I'm in that time, Apostle prophesied on me. Yes. And Luke him. And he told me, he said, God going to cause you to leap over. I don't know if you remember that he was in Tuscaloosa somewhere. And he said God was going to call, that was our first start coming here. And he said God was going to call you to leap. And I did. Which means that he said that some stuff you ain't going to go through. But others went through. The Spirit of the Lord is in the place. And tell them to say, neighbor, not just God, but everything that you need. Now come on, give God, I believe, praise. Hallelujah. I said, come on, give God, I believe, praise. And hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God. Amen. We're going to get into the word of the Lord. And we're going to see what God has to say unto us. Amen. On this morning. Amen. I thank God for each and every last one of you authentic. Amen. I thank God who's the head of my life. Amen. And I also thank God. Amen. For Amen. These wonderful pastors. Amen. Pastor Theodore William and Hayward. Come on, praise God for this. Amen. And we also thank God for our overseer, Chief Apostle, this absent. Amen. Come on, give God praise for him. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to get into the word of the Lord. And God has put a word in my spirit. And as I was in just this morning, I just began. Amen. To speak a scripture. I don't know where it came from, but it came out of my spirit. Because I was asking God, give me a word for the people. And God spoke a word. He said, and I began to just speak out of my mouth. I said, too much is given. Yes. Much is required. Yes. And as I began to speak it, God said, that's what I want you to release. Yes. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, that's the word for this moment. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Let's go, amen, to Luke. Amen. The book of Luke. So much is given, much is required. Because the reason why God gave me this word because He knew that somebody here need this word on today. Amen. Because some people have been questioning the Amen, the tribulations. You've been questioning God, why are you going through more than your mother or your father, or why are you going through mother, Amen, more than your sister or your brother? But God said the answer is going to be released today. Amen. Luke chapter twelve. Luke chapter twelve. Amen. Luke chapter 12. We're going to start at verse 48. And we're going to go. So we're going to stop at verse 49. When you get it, just say amen. And just stand for the reading of the word of the Lord. Amen. Luke chapter 12, verses 48. And we're going to start at verse 49. Amen. They're going to stand for the reading of the word. Amen. And, we, and we're going to start at verse 48. It says, But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more I am come to set fire on the earth oh my god and what will I if it be already come. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Come on, look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Too much is given. Too much is required. Oh my God. But it says, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with first stripes. Now, we know that most of us go through more than others That's right. because of what God has given you in your life. And many people might be questioning, well, God, why is I going through more than others? Why every time I turn around, the devil is at me so much? 
But see, you have to understand that to much is given, much is required. But in other words, if God has given you, amen, a whole lot in your life, amen, he's calling, amen, a whole lot for you to go through. Come on, come on now. Too much is given, much is required. You might have a gift of prophesying. You might have a gift of laying hands, a gift of singing that would bring the, amen, people all around the world to Christ. Because of the anointing that rests on you. Now, any time that you have any gifts like that, that is a divine assignment, you have to go through many trials and tribulations. Because if you realize before you tap into the anointing, you, amen, have to first go through some tenses and, amen, you have to go through some hell and hot water. You didn't just tap into the, the anointed, you had to go through some hell and hot water. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Because God has given you, amen, a whole lot of stuff. But you don't want to go through what it takes to keep it going. Oh my God. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. It's a whole lot, a whole that, lot. God that God will give you. And he's saying, I require you to go through a whole lot. Trials and tribulation. Oh my God. Now. 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 I'm going to start at going through before you tap into it. Amen. What God has given you. Before you tapped into it, amen, you, you had to go through a process. Mm -hmm. In other words, you had to be tested because God had to see was you ready for this. He had to see was you ready for what's to come in the future. He had to see was you ready, amen, for the anointing that he was going to pour upon you. And so you begin to question why is I'm going through all of this stuff? Why? is I'm going through. Why, amen, the devil attacked my body. Why, amen, he attacked my mind. Why, amen, even my whole family don't like me. Come on, somebody. Amen. You begin to question all of those things that was going on before you tapped into your purpose. But see, you have to realize that what you was going through was only to make you stronger. Come out, come out. What you been through was only to make you stronger. That's why you cannot trip over your circumstance. Because God would never allow you to go through if he didn't have a whole lot for you to possess. Oh my God. Now listen to the voice of the Lord because God is speaking. It's a whole lot that God wants you to possess. So it's a whole lot that you must go through. In other words, you must go through the fire. Yeah. Oh, God. oh my God. Because somebody been questioning God, God, why is I'm going through this? Why even my boss don't like me? Come on, somebody. Why? It's like, amen, it's that all hell that's coming my way. But you got to realize that it's only a setup. Look at your neighbor and say, it's only a setup. It's only a setup because the Bible says, again, is given, much is required. So I can't trip when the devil comes my way because it only reminds me that God has a whole lot in store for my life. So if God has a whole lot in store for my life, I can't trip because I'm going through a whole lot of stuff. Because if you look at the scripture, too much is given. Yeah. And use the word again, much is required. It's a equal to here. It's Come equal. Okay. Amen. 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 And what you go through is according to the size of your assignment. Mm. Ah, I get it. If God gives you a big assignment, you're going to go through the hill. Mm. <laughs> Come on here now. And that's something that God had to real amen teach me this morning as I was speaking the word. Amen. He began to make me realize and sometimes I just preach to myself like I'm preaching the folks in my room and because I'm practicing. Come on somebody. Amen. I'm getting in my spirit. So when I go before the people, I know how to release it. Oh my God. Yes, and God began to put in my spirit. He began to say that I give you, amen, if your assignment is big, amen, the hell that you go through is going to be big. Hey. Yeah. Too 
much is given, much is required. Yeah. So it cannot be unequally yoked. Mm. It has to be on the same page. Mm. So if God call you to the nation, guess what? That's a big assignment. That's a big assignment to go from one place to another. Come on, somebody. So if God call you to the nation, guess what? Amen. The hell that you go through is going to be big, just like your assignment is big. Oh, glory be to God. It's got to equal. It got to be on the same page. It got to be on the same page. Come on, say neighbor. It got to be on the same page. Too much is given. Much is required. And to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more. So, so God wants more of you. He, now he gave you a whole lot of him. But he wants more of you. Ain't nobody saying it right there. Yeah. I say he want more of you. Yeah. And because he gave you a whole lot, he want a whole lot of you. Yeah. Oh my God. Come on. He wants a whole lot of you. Of you. Of you. So you got to give God your own. Now God said, okay, I gave you this gift. I gave you, amen, these things. I gave, amen, I got, I told you I got a whole lot of stuff, amen, in store for you. I got the house, I got the car, I got the money, I got all that stuff for you, but now I'm calling, I'm requiring some things for you to go through, because you cannot reach those things unless you go through what I told you to go through. You cannot, oh, y'all better say something like that. You cannot reach those things unless you go through what God has called. God is saying, now, 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 you want this, you want that. Now, now, God said, now, I want this from you. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. See, you got to understand that God will make his wants to you. See, amen. In class, we talked about wants and needs. Amen. Glory be to God. In other words, amen. Wants is what you want. You. It's your desires. But you got to realize that God got wants you. Ain't nobody saying that. You want some from him. God said, I want some from you. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. God wants something from you. You want something from God. But God said, I require this from you. But you still want it for this. I want for that. Oh my God. You want for his spirit. God said, I want for your heart. Oh my God. Oh my God. You want amen for the holiness, but I want amen your flesh to die. Oh my God. Glory be to God. See, see, see. You, you want to be used by me, but I want you holy. Oh my God. Too much is given, much is free. Uh, oh my God. So, God, I want you to use me. God is saying, okay. You want me to use you? Now I got to give you to some steps on how this thing works. Because. You got to learn. What well, if I'm gonna use you? I got to use all of you. Oh my God! Hey, come on, come on. So that's a requirement that you must have in order for God to use you like He want to. Because God can't use you, Amen. If you give God half of you. Oh my God! So God is saying, I want Amen. You want me to use you, but you still don't want to give me the other half of you. Oh my God! You still don't want to meet the requirements that I ask you to meet. Because in order to go to the next dimension of life, God have a list of requirements that he wants you to meet. Because you cannot go to the next grade, you cannot go to the next level, you cannot go to the next phase of life unless you meet the requirements that God has given you to meet. Because those requirements is going to help you in the future. Glory be to God. Those requirements that you meet is going to help you all down the line. So you have to understand, if you want to be used by God, you got to first meet the requirements that he wants you to meet. Too much is given. Much is required. So God, so God, see, now, when you give God what he wants, you'll get what you want. Oh my God. I'm going to say it again. I said, if you give God what he wants, he'll give you what you want. Oh, my God. Which means that he'll give you your heart's desires. Because he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Oh, my God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto him. So first, you must first give God his part. And he was, oh, my God. See, it's a contract. It all goes 
go back to the contract. Yeah. It's a contract. Yeah. Minister Anna spoke it, God spoke it, God. it's a contract. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's a contract. So that means that you got to do your part and God will do his part. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. You got to work and labor, God gonna pay you. Come on, somebody. Ain't nobody saying that. Amen. God will reward you. Glory be to God. See, that's the problem. Many people want God to pay them and reward them, but they don't want to do the work and the labor. They don't want to give God what he required of them. Too much is given. Much is required. Much is required. You want to work? Guess what? When you work for God, yeah. you got to work for real. Yeah. You got to work to work. I ain't talking about work and then sit down and then work and then sit down. I'm talking about you got to keep it going. Because at this time, it seems that God is doing a quick work, Pastor. Yeah. He's doing a quick work. And when God is saying that I ain't got time to be playing, I ain't got time to be a playing, I ain't got time to be waiting on you, I ain't got time for no soul for this, because I, 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 I'm requiring more of you. Yeah. I'm requiring more Woo. of you. That's it. So are you willing to give God more of you? All of it. Yes, Lord. Come on, say, Lord, I give you all of me. All of it. I give you all of me because yeah, you got to, amen. Because you got to understand that when you tell God that, it's you you just made a promise to God. You just oh, glory be to God. You just made a vow. You just signed your name on the contract. Ain't nobody saying it. So the problem is many people trying to cheat God. You're trying to cheat God. You're trying to cheat, God. You're trying to cheat the contract. In other words, you want everything, but you don't want to do the work. Exactly. You don't want to work the work. But you want all the cars and houses. Come on, somebody. But you don't want to put no labor in. You don't want to sow no seeds. Ain't nobody saying that. Oh, glory be to God. See, every day is sowing a seed. Come on. When you say you love somebody, you just sow the seed of love. That's right. Amen. Amen. When you bless somebody, you just sow the seed. Yeah. Yeah. You just sow a seed. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. But, see, it's all according to your work and labor. You work hard, you get blessed according to your work. Too much is given. Much is required. So you got all this stuff to do that God is calling you to do. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? Come and tell you God got a whole lot of stuff to bless you with. Ain't nobody saying Come and tell you that God got some things that amen ahead of you that he wanted so. But first you must work towards that. That's right. That's right. You must work towards that. That's right. Because you can have a bid. You can have a dream. But guess what? If you don't work towards that dream or that vision that God has given you, it won't come to pass. Oh my God. You can write the vision, you can make it plain, but if you don't work towards that vision, it won't happen because God did his part. He revealed it to you. It's up to you to work towards it. That's right. He gave you the vision. It's up to you to work towards it. That's right. If you want to open up a store, you got to go and get some connections. That's it. You got to go say, okay, first I need a building. Come on, somebody. Amen, God. I, I know you're going to bless me with the money because you want to give me the vision if you want to have the money. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. God will never give you a vision if you don't have the things that you need to accomplish a vision. Come on, somebody. God has everything that you need. So when God gives you a vision, amen, you have to work towards that vision. And, and, and the reason why, hey, hey, hallelujah, you must work towards that vision. Yes. Whatever you have, yes, right. that God is giving you. Yes. You got some work on that part too. That's you got some work to do. If you don't work, you don't get paid. If you don't work, you don't get paid. You can't go to your boss and say, "Well, my check is." What can you do? <laughs> Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. That's it. And people trying to go to God. God, what my blessing is? What work you did? Honey? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. See, God is the boss. Come on, somebody. He's the boss. You won't receive the paycheck unless you do the labor. Ain't nobody saying it because of Amen. He pays you according to the work that you do. Glory be to God. If you do a whole lot of work, there's a whole lot of blessing coming your way. Amen. Because too much is given, much is required. Yeah. Oh my God. That's it. Uh, too much is given. Much
much is required. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, look at this. It says, it says, it says, okay, okay. And to whom men have committed much, of him they would ask the Lord. Now, if you got a whole lot of stuff in your possession, which means that you got more than enough, yes. and you know that you're able to bless somebody else, and let me tell you what people do. When they know that you got a whole lot in your possession, yes. and they come to you and say, I need to borrow this, or I need this, or I need that, and I need you to help me out. Yes. Guess what? If you got a whole lot, they ain't gonna just ask for one thing. Right. They gonna ask for twice that. Come on, somebody. Because they see that you have a whole lot. And other words, they require for you to give them more. Yeah. Because you have a whole lot in That's your possession. It. That's it. What God is saying, if you have a whole lot in your spirit that He's put in your spirit, it's a whole lot that He was quite amen required for you to release. Hallelujah. Oh my God. That's it. Oh my God. Work it, work it. Oh my God. Good. If you have the spirit of intercession, it's some prayer that God said, I require for you to set up. Glory be to God. Because that's what's in your spirit. So too much is given, much is required. So if you're an intercessor, it's some prayer that God said, I require for you to set up to heaven. If you have the spirit of worship, and you are a worshiper, God said, I require a whole lot of worship from you. Because that's what I put in you. If you have a praiser, can't nobody stop you from praising God. Because that's what's in you. Because God has required some praises from you. So that's what's in you. Too much is given. Much is required. 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 And if you're a praiser, Shouldn't nobody stop you from praising God. That's right. That's right. That's right. You can be in the White House. You can be on your job. You can be in the restaurant. If you are praising and the spirit of praise come upon you and you start giving God the glory, I don't care what, how, what folks say. I don't care how folks look at you because they don't understand the God that you serve. They don't understand that God is requiring more of you. They don't understand that you already made up your mind that wherever I go, I'm going to give God the glory. Yeah. See, you have to understand that it defies already kept for God therefore. Oh, thank you, Jesus. If it's already kept, what God is there for? Oh my God. So when God said too much is given, too much is required, he, amen, he's there for a reason. He wants you to release some things for a reason. Glory be to God. Because he comes to send fire. That's right. Yeah. But we're not. But why I'm here then if it's already killed. But we're not if it's already killed. Oh my God. So, I thank God for fire. I thank God for fire. I'm talking about healing and water. I thank God for fire. Amen. I ain't get burned. I just felt the heat. That's right. Come on, somebody. I'm glad you said it. I didn't get burned. I just felt the heat. So I thank God for the fire. See, I had to go through the heat. Oh, my God. Oh. It wasn't meant to burn me. Come on, Jesus. It was meant for me to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It wasn't meant to burn me. That's right. Because it would have burned me, that they would have took me out. That's right. But thank God that he didn't allow it to burn me. See, he allowed it to come close to me. But it didn't touch. So you got to realize that the devil, he can do things towards you, but he can't touch you. Because you are surrounded by God. So he going to want to do things towards you. In other words, he going to try to mess with you. But he, he can't even touch you because you are protected by God. So I, I, I can't worry about the fire that I'm going through because too much is given, much is required. It only reminds me 
of what God has in store. So for that, I don't mind going through. If I got to go through, guess what? It's a done deal. If I got to go through before I reach my destiny, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. Because you can't appreciate a new house if you don't get rid of the old house. Okay, I'm going to say this again. I'm a, okay, I'm going to make it plain. You can't get rid of a... Oh my God. I'm going to use furniture. If you want some new furniture, you got to get rid of, get rid of the old furniture. That's right. <laughs> you went through dealing with the old furniture now. You went through the hell and hot water because while you was going through, you was desperate for something new. So you, you know how I feel to go through dealing with furniture and you want some new stuff. So when you get the new stuff, you can appreciate it because you already went through that. Oh. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Too much is given. Much is required. Somebody say, well, I've been living in poverty all my life. Guess what? Don't trip because of poverty. Because soon later, prosperity is going to take come in. Come on, somebody. Because I don't trip about my finances. Come on. Because God told me, He said, you had to work a job in your life. Why? Because what He gave me, Amen, is bigger than working for somebody else. Come on, somebody. That's right, that's right. That's it. So I ain't worried about the finances. Amen. I ain't worried about that because soon later, millions gonna tap in. Come on, somebody. Ain't nobody saying nothing like that. So when they tap in, I can appreciate because I've been through poverty. Yes, right. Yes, right. Woo! So many people question why is I'm why is I'm so broke all the time? <laughs> why I ain't got why my pocketbook looking like this? But see, stop tripping. Stop tripping. God knows what He's doing. He set you up for the best because the best is yet to come. Yes. Your best days are ahead of you. Come on, yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, your best days are ahead of you. Your best days are ahead of you. Amen. Amen. You want to, amen, a new car. First, you went to the broke down car. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you had trouble out of that car. Come on, somebody. Yep. But you want a new car. Mm -hmm. Yes. Guess what? Mm -hmm. You went through dealing with the old car. Yeah. But when you get a new car, you know how to appreciate it. Yes. Right. You know how to cruise. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Ain't nobody saying yeah. yeah. Amen. Because you already went through. Amen. The, amen. The messed up car. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You dealt with that. You had heartaches and pain dealing with that. You had wasted money dealing with that. But when the new stuff come in, guess what? You know how to praise God. You know how to appreciate it. Yeah. Because you went through what God required for you to go through. Oh. So when he give you a whole lot of stuff, you know how to receive it. You know how to receive it. Thank you, Jesus. You know how to receive it. I receive it. And many people go through things. Some people, God allowed them to go through nicotine. Come on. Sometimes God allowed them to go through stand on the streets. Come on. Because it's a requirement. Because what he has for them mm -hmm. is better than what they're going through. Many people walk on the streets today. Yes. Not just because they ain't saved. Come on. They don't have Jesus. Sometimes God requires them to go through. Yes. It ain't that he don't love them because he's setting them up yeah, for something better. That's right. Come on. So then when he brings better to them, they would appreciate. That's right. Because many people went from homeless, now they rich. I'm yes. talking about filthy rich. Yes. Look at Tyler Perry. Yes. Homeless. Filthy rich. That's an example. And that man is blessing folks all over the world through his amen to kill and, and time. God had to make an example out of him. See, it wasn't a mistake that he was homeless. Come on, God required that of him. So when he, he became rich, 
he appreciated. So not every time that you said during an interview, he always said, I praise God. I give all the praise to God. Because he appreciated, because he know what it feels to be humble. So now he appreciate how blessed he is. Ooh, Jesus. So that's why every time you see him, you amen on the interview, he's always saying something about God. Yes. If it had not been for God, I wouldn't have been here. That's right. That's the truth. Because he know God did it. Right. Too much is given. Much is required. Much is required. He paid a price yes, for what he has today. Yes, and that's what we must do. We have to pay a price. We have to pay a price for everything that we amen that, that God has for us. Yes. And I'm talking about going through. Going through. I ain't talking about giving God no money putting it in his hands. I'm talking about going through a spiritual price. A spiritual price. Jesus paid a price. He paid a price. Said we may be free. Well, he had to go through being beaten. Sometimes you have to go through and the devil beat your side to him. And attacking you. Because God is saying I got more in store for you. Look at Job. He had everything. And God allowed the enemy to come. He wanted to show him. It was not just a test. But it was setting him up for something great. Because too much is given. Much is required. You can be rich all your life, but it will come a time that you're going to go through something. That's it, Minister Frank. Amen. Your family can be rich. But guess what? It's going to come a time where you're going to get to your lowest point. Because you got to realize that you're going to need God. You got to realize that God got to show up and do some things in your life. Oh my God. Amen. And even though you was already rich, but guess what? Amen. You're going through why you was already rich. Amen. It's going to set you up for richer things. Oh my God. You must understand. Don't question God. Why are you going through Somebody need this word. Yes. Somebody need this word. And I just start speaking. Yes, Lord. Too much is given. Much is required. Speak the word. Amen. And not just that. Not just for you. But God was speaking to me. He was speaking to me. Because doubt tried to come in my heart. Because if I look, I look at what's going on around me. I'm, I'm, I'm even looking at, I wonder if my family ever going to be saved. Yes. Just look at all the things they're doing. And look at the finances. Just looking at a whole lot of stuff. Because the devil come to get you all focused on what God is saying. Yeah, that's right. But because, amen, the power that God is giving you, you'll know how to overcome that doubt. And every time doubt try to come in, I say, I believe. Yeah. I just overcame it. Because I said, I believe. So anytime that the devil make you doubt, why right, you going through so much, amen, just say, I believe. Ain't nobody saying it. There's only one word will kill the devil. Oh, y'all. One word, I believe. I believe. So when doubt come in, just say, I believe. I believe. I believe. Sometimes I got to shake that stuff off of me. Because sometimes doubt will try to get to my mind, and I just got to shake my head and shake it off. And just say, I believe. I believe. I say no to that. Yeah. I say yes to believe. Yeah. I believe. I believe. And the more you say it, the more faith comes. Comes. Because many people have allowed doubt to overcome them. That's right. In other words, they don't even trust God no more. They, 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 they don't even believe that God going to do what he said. Because they... Real, amen. The devil has attacked, amen, their mind and got them thinking that God is not going to do it. But God said, I'm not a man that I should lie. Nor the son of man that I should repent. In other words, God ain't got to lie because he can't. Men will lie to you. See, God ain't no man. He said, I'm not a man. So he just told you, I ain't like your brother, your sister. Come on, somebody. I'm God. Right. They'll lie to you, but God, God said I won't. Right. Because his nature is not that his nature is true. Right. So if God lie, he will violate his nature. Oh my God. So God, if your nature is true, 
God don't even know how to lie. He can't lie. Because his nature is true. So if God said it, that settles it. If God said that I'm going to bring you out of what you're going through, God is going to do it. And when Matthew, I mean Luke chapter 12, and now we're at verse 49. We started verse 48, but now we're at verse 49. Amen. But you have to understand that it's not by coincidence. It's not by coincidence. Some of you might have been in car wrecks and, amen, been in, amen, uh, hospitalized for, amen, for, uh, uh, amen, months and months. But guess what? There was only to set you up for what's to come. And I love to share my testimony because it helped people. It helped people. Being hit by a car at the age of four ain't no good feeling. And it's thank God that I can remember when it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for remembrance. Mm -hmm. And because many people don't remember what even happened to them. But you got to understand that if that had not happened, I couldn't be up here standing the one I'm doing now. Because it was only to set me up for what's to come. Yeah. For what's to come. For what's to come. Being in hospital for months, not a good feeling. Being eight men doing more than one surgery on your body in the same spot, mm -hmm. not a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Taking skin off your back to put it on your leg, it's not a good feeling. Come on now. And see, I don't mind sharing my testimony because it's going to help somebody. Yeah. And it's going to realize that what they've been through and what they're going through is only to set you up for what's to come. Somebody here might, amen, be struggling trying to figure out why they're going through, but it's only a setup. It's not to destroy you. It's only to build you. Oh my God. It's only to build you. Because the devil knows that you're going to be dangerous to his kingdom. Yes. The devil knows that God has given you a great mental. Yeah. Come out here. And he knows you're going to be dangerous. Yeah. That's why he tried to destroy you. Yeah. But he couldn't do it because he can, he can, he, he can never, never, never take what God has already given. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, devil, you attacked me. I'm still annoyed. Yeah, devil, you attacked me. I'm still blessed. Yes. I'm still powerful. Yes. It's only to build you. That's right. It's only to build you. It's only to build you. And it's more than one phase in life. You have phase one. Come on here. Phase two. Come on. Phase three is different realms of life that God will call you to tap into. But every realm requires something that you must go through. Something that you must go through. And you cannot dodge something that God is requiring you to go through. And then what people tell you, they're trying to go around. You know how you've been in the traffic and if you stop up, something to happen, and then you just, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna wait, I'm just gonna go on around the other way. You try to take the easy way out. And that's what folk is trying to do. When they run into stuff in their life, and God has said, okay, I'm gonna I'm let you go through this, and I'm gonna bring you out. They try to dodge it. But you just dodging that, you dodging your destiny. You dodging the blessing that God has outside of that. Oh my God. Beyond that. That's right. So you got to be careful when you try to dodge certain stuff. Because you be dodging, you can be dodging something that God wants you to have. Yes. And then you have to go right back again and go through the same old stuff until you get it. Don't go for the shortcut. Now, God will cause you to leap over some stuff. In other words, he will cause you, amen, to, amen, that you, you, you won't go through certain things that others go through. Because some people go through certain things to get this and get that. That's right. But sometimes God would say, in order for God to even favor you like that and cause you to leap over some stuff, you must have been pleased him yeah. in some kind of way. Because there's faith when God has you to leap over. Yeah. I'm in that time, Apostle prophesied on me. Yeah. And Luciana. And he told me, he said, God going to cause you to leap 
I don't know if you remember that we was in yeah. Toluca somewhere. Yeah. And he said, God was going to call. That was when I first started coming here. Yeah. And he said, God was going to cause you to leap. And you not did. And I did. Which means that he said that yeah. some stuff you ain't going to better go through. What well, others went through. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because the son that God has given me, amen, amen. See, I was far behind because, amen, I was back. So God had to break that thing and lift me over to get to the place that he wanted me to be. And that's why many preachers look at me and they say, well, how he get that far? How he get that far? Because I was behind, because I was bound. So God calls me to leave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. See, God will favor you and cause you to leave. Because bondage can hold you back. That you'll be behind. And God said, when, I'm a, when I deliver you, I'm going to cause you to open. I'm going to lift you over some stuff. And you're not going to go through what that person got to go through. Because I'm going to favor you and I'm going to cause you to leave. Because I got some things to do through you. And some folks that need to be saved. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're going to leap over some stuff. You're going to leap over some stuff. You're going to leap over some stuff. Your brother will be going through financial crisis and you'll be living in prosperity because God has favored you. Because, amen, because you have done something that pleased God. And see, you got to understand that when God favors you, amen, amen, that means you've done something to please him. Oh, my God. You have pleased done something in his sight. They say, okay, I'm a favor. I'm a favor you. I'm a favor you because you done something. To please you. Yes, Lord. You done something to please him. Yes, yes. You done something to please him. So God, so God, I know too much is getting much required, but not just that. But we gotta understand that God calls us to leave some stuff. In other words, uh he will cause you to bounce up over some stuff. You know how you know how you uh you uh have a ball? Yeah. I mean we have like a little X ball. Uh-huh. And you bounce it up. Yeah. It go high. Yeah. And sometimes it'll leap over you. Yeah. <laughs> what God is saying, sometimes I got to bounce you against the ground to give you a boost off. Huh? And other words, I got to bounce you to the lowest point and get your glory be the God. And, get, and because when I bounce you against the ground, I got someone on the ground that's going to boost you up and going to cause you to leave. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you get ready to leave. And, and I speak as a prophet of God, under the unction of the Holy Ghost. I hear the Lord saying to my people, God has said, I'm getting ready to call Shankaba. I'm getting ready to call you to leave. I'm getting ready to call you to overcome some stuff. Because God said, this is a season of leap. Yeah. And I'm getting ready to cause you to jump over. <laughs> yes. Some stuff. You ain't gonna go through. Mm -hmm. Some stuff you ain't gonna go through. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You gonna go through, but some stuff you ain't gonna go through. That's it. Amen. Because you're gonna leap over, and you're probably be trying to wonder how you get that far without going through that. Oh my God. How did you get way over there, and you didn't even go through the process? In other words, folk, amen, can come against you. And you can leap over those situations. Oh In other words, you can tell your enemies, I still love you. Yes. I still pray for you. Come on, you yeah. just leap over that. Uh, because you just, amen, you just leap. Because you use what God gave you to you. You use the word. Yeah. The word can cause you to leap over stuff. Being obedient. Being obedient can cause you to leap over stuff. Yeah. Amen. So I thank God. That too much is given. Come on. Much is required. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Too much is given. Much is required. Amen. I got the cut off. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. God has spoken. It is a done deal. Too much is given. Much is required. Somebody give God a praise. Yes. And we want to leave. When we leave here today, we want to let the devil know. Yes. 
Uh, Devin, I ain't gonna trip over you no more. No. I ain't gonna trip but what you trying to bring towards me. Yeah. Because now I know it's only a setup. Yeah. It's only to fill me up and it's get me ready to what's to come. Yeah. And when doubt comes your way, you better look down in the face and say, I believe. I believe. Come on, try to say I believe. I believe. Come on, say it again, I believe. I believe. Tell us what the devil can hear you. I believe. I believe. Now you just made the devil tremble right there. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah.